In Saudi Arabia's capital city, Riyadh, the world's largest futuristic metro is currently under construction. This new mega project is so ambitious that it is set to change the world of transportation forever. So, just how big is the metro and how will it work? In this video, we will look into understanding the inner workings of the world's biggest metro project. But before we continue, make sure to press the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can get more videos about billion dollar mega projects from around the world. The ancient capital of Saudi Arabia is on its way to becoming the biggest city in the Middle East. As Riyadh is predicted to reach 10 million people in the near future, the city's metro system is getting ready to cater to this growing population. There has been a lot of pressure to make sure that this mega project gets built well because if it is a success, it could dramatically enhance transportation in this rapidly increasing metropolis. The notion of establishing a metro in Riyadh has been around for a long time, but it wasn't until 2012 when a tender for the project's construction was launched. After hundreds of major construction and engineering firms from all around the world submitted their names for consideration, the tender was awarded to a consortium of multinational firms led by Bechel, Larson, and Samsung. As it is one of the most advanced metro projects in the world and incorporates highly futuristic characteristics, substantial technical breakthroughs had to be overcome to create the planned project. This metro is anticipated to cost $22 billion, making it one of the world's largest infrastructure projects. There are 4.9 million square meters of excavation and 387,000 tons of steel used in this construction. Even when considering the cost of the project, the Riyadh metro's size is truly incredible. The Riyadh metro is not only the longest metro system in the Middle East, but also the longest in the entire world, surpassing Cairo's 85-kilometer track. Additional BRT lines are also linked into this system to ensure that users can get to their destinations in the most efficient manner. For its utility, this route connects all of the city's main colleges, the downtown area, and public transit hubs, including the King Khalid International Airport and the King Abdullah Financial District. Linking this transport system to the airports was seen as one of its most important components as in the Middle East, King Khalid International Airport is one of the most prominent airports. The metro's ultimate goal is to increase the city's public transportation usage. The Riyadh metro is estimated to have created 43,000 jobs for people of 30 different nationalities, adding to the city's already vibrant multiculturalism. Ultimately, the goal of the project is to contribute to the city's long-term viability, and all important parties have been consulted with the construction of a metro system. Riyadh will finally have a full public transportation system that includes subways, buses, and parking facilities. The metro, which is only utilized by a mere 2% of city inhabitants, is predicted to witness a 20% rise in usage over the next year. As evidenced by the requirement that three independent corporations collaborate on the project, an unusual level of collaboration and tremendous experience are required to successfully complete this massive project. The transportation system would feature 85 rail stations, including a handful of interchange stops. The Ariad Development Authority intends to offer naming rights to 15 of the 85 stations. These rights include retail space and advertising at the stations cameras, early warning systems, and communication systems that are directly linked to the main control center monitor the vehicles and stations. The principal stations are distinguished by multi-level monorail installations. These locations will be air-conditioned to ensure passenger comfort and safety. The majority of these stations will use solar-powered equipment to generate their own electricity, indicating that the project has the potential to significantly reduce the number of carbon emissions produced in Riyadh. More than half a million car trips are estimated to be avoided each day as a result of the new project, which would save the equivalent of nearly 400,000 liters of petroleum. The Khazar al Hakm downtown metro station, which links the blue and orange lines, is one of five essential interchange stations that enable passengers to move between metro lines and bus network stations that are part of the Khazar al Hakm downtown metro. 
This station will become a symbol of Riyadh's resurgence, based on the principles of sustainable urbanism. The station emphasizes sustainability in order to establish a future that appreciates the worth of natural resources and their significant role in urban regeneration. The downtown metro station is planned as an urban plaza with a wide canopy that shades the surrounding public areas while also pouring sunshine down into the train station below the basement. The polished stainless steel canopy serves as a landmark, indicating the entrance to the station. The King Abdullah Financial District Metro Station will be an important interchange on the future Riyadh Metro network for Line 1, as well as the end of Lines 4 and 6. The KAFD Metro Station will be incorporated into the urban setting of the Financial District, with six platforms spanning four public floors and two levels of underground vehicle parking, answering to the functional needs of a multimodal transit center and the area's future ambition. Beyond the fundamental station typology, the proposal emphasizes the building's significance as a dynamic, multifunctional public space. The station, designed by Zaha Hadid Architects, is to be in the heart of the KAFD Master Plan's network of paths, skybridges, and metro lines. Traffic and connectivity diagrams have been drawn and arranged throughout the site to clearly designate pedestrian pathways inside the building, maximize internal circulation, and prevent congestion. The patterning on the facade decreases solar gain while the geometric perforations situate the station within its cultural background. The overall composition is reminiscent of patterns produced by desert winds and sand dunes, where numerous frequencies and repetitions produce fascinating natural structures. The general design of the metro project is sophisticated, and there is no human conductor on any of the trains, emphasizing the futuristic aspect of this new style of transport. The Riyadh bus network will be linked to the metro and be divided into three levels, one for the major streets, one for the highways, and one for the quieter streets. Level 1's dedicated bus lines have a total length of 154 kilometers, with 108 stops spread along the route. The Level 2's community lines will act as a backbone to the network, linking the different residential regions, and being 904 kilometers, the Level 3 lines take 825 kilometers to traverse. These buses will run through the neighborhoods of Riyadh, transporting passengers to and from the city's metro stations and other points of interest. As the city expands its reach and evolves, there will be increased demand for infrastructure projects. The Metro Project of Riyadh is a chance to show the immense benefits of such projects for the development of the nation. The recent progress in Riyadh will have a significant influence on the Saudi Vision 2030, the aim for reduced dependence on the oil industry and more public sector growth, including tourism, leisure, and the health sector. It is truly fascinating to witness history in the making, as we watch the creation of the future of urban transit taking place in Saudi Arabia. So, what do you think about the futuristic Riyadh Metro? Do you think this mega project will revolutionize transport in Saudi Arabia and the rest of the world? Let us know your thoughts about this mega project in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and make sure to give this video a like. See you in the next video.